I want to get into game development. Where do I start? If you ask Jonathan Blow, a veteran of the industry, you might get an optimistic answer. My advice is, if you are asking me that, you're probably not cut out for making games. Sorry. Go away. Well, here's another, much colder take. If you want to skip all the tutorials and engines and dependencies and headaches, I think a great place to start is to do what Local Thunk, creative Bellatro did, and use Love2D, a super simple framework for writing 2D games in Lua. Bellatro absolutely popped off this year. It's many people's game of the year, selling 2 million copies with an overwhelmingly positive rating on Steam. And for good reason, it's a really good game. Here's a quick summary if you haven't played it for some reason. Bellatro is a game about combos. You play poker hands which each score points based on their chips and multiplier. But you can purchase these power-ups and joker cards that all work together to increase your chips and multipliers to crazy amounts. It's all about building the perfect hand. If you don't get enough points, you lose all your progress and have to start from scratch. But runs are relatively short. The gameplay makes for a fun and engaging experience with a lot of replayability. But that's not my favorite part of this game. My favorite part is how the cards go at the end of the hand. How the score and multiples start to burn and shake when you're about to get a massive combo. How the turn plays out by bouncing around the cards on the screen like a perfectly choreographed dance. Everything is so smooth and crisp. This game looks and feels great, which is why it's surprising that it's written in the same language that I used to configure my text editor. Lua is a fantastic little language that's very easy to pick up and designed to be embedded. For this reason, it's mostly famous as a tool to mod games like Roblox and Factorio and to configure software like NeoVim. Despite being small, it is still fast and powerful. So while it is usually used as an auxiliary language, it definitely has legs to stand on its own. Bellatro uses Love2D, a framework for writing games in Lua, to create all those engaging animations and event loops. Love2D is really simple, like really simple. Like so simple, it would probably take you less time to read the whole documentation than to watch the average Unity tutorial. It gives you exactly what you need to make a game and then lets you run wild. I wanna show you how easy it is to get started with Love2D by recreating something from Bellatro. Let's recreate the animation at the end of the hand where all the cards are stacked back onto the deck. A quick disclaimer, there are ways to access the source code of Love2D games. It can be a great way to learn from other projects, but don't ever copy or share code that you don't have a license to. I made a very average looking card back in Asaprite. I can load the sprite in the load function and draw it in the center of the screen in the draw function. If the mouse is pressed, I check if it's within the card's bounding box. If it is, then I set the card's position to follow the mouse. This animation is very rigid. So let's add a target position to the card. When we move the mouse, we update the target position instead of the actual position. In the update function, we call a function that moves the card using velocity instead of a fixed position. The trajectory between the current and target position only accounts for 25% of the movement. The rest is the momentum from the current velocity. This gives the animations that bouncy feel, where it overshoots and then snaps back into place. Let's create a deck and add 52 cards to it. The align function takes all the cards in a deck and sets their target position so that they stack up in a nice way. If a card is not on top of the deck when the mouse is released, it is removed from the deck. Now I can draw a circle underneath the deck, and if the mouse is over that circle when pressed, I grab all the cards and add them back to the deck. This is close, but it needs some sounds to make it a little more satisfying. I recorded myself flicking a plastic thing on the table and play it whenever a card moves. This is starting to feel a bit more satisfying, but it's still missing something. A CRT shader immediately makes this feel more like Bellatro. I can take a CRT shader I found online and load it into the game. Instead of drawing directly to the screen, I draw everything to a canvas and then add the shader to the canvas before drawing it to the screen. Shaders are Bellatro's not so secret weapon. The CRT effect, the fire when you get a massive combo, the card effects for golden and foil cards, the animations when a card is created or destroyed. Even the background is just a shader. Local Thunk is absolutely cooking with these. He's really good at writing shaders and it gives the game so much personality. Shaders can be really rewarding to write. 
But if you're not up for that challenge, Shader Toy is an excellent resource to find some shaders. It's where I found the CRT one. You may just need to tweak it a bit so that it plays nice with Love2D's implementation of the OpenGL shader language. There's a forum post detailing most of the required changes in the description. I don't mean to get distracted, but there's also a complete recreation of Super Mario Bros 1-1 created using only shaders on this website. Even the music is all in the shader. There's also this guy who made an entire temple and he also has a three hour live coding session where he shows you exactly how he did it and it's awesome. And he's also one of the creators of Shader Toy. Anyway, Bellatro is awesome, Love2D is awesome, shaders are awesome. Thank you for watching.